One of the additions I like most to CPM3 is that if you had your machine configured for banked memory then it provided additional line editing control characters which I want to demonstrate in this video. So if I type the line uh, type echo.asm and then I realize that echo.asm isn't actually on the A drive it's on the D drive then I can press control A and it will move the cursor to the left or if I press control F it will move it to the right and then I can press control B to begin to go to the beginning of the line and control B again to go to the end so it will swap back and forth uh, in any case I want to alter the echo.asm and proceed that with D colon because the, uh, the file is on the D drive and then there it is you can list through it and uh, again control C to exit uh, same with, with uh, CPM 2.2 and uh, if I type another line in I'll we'll type the echo.asm again and we'll go to the left with control A and if I press control G it'll delete a character of the cursor so I can move that and put it back in and then if I again press control A and this time I'm going to press uh, control X which will delete everything to the left of the cursor and there you are uh, that's kept the rest of it, dot asm. So I can put that back in again. I can put in flip flop dot asm. Uh, no, I can't. I can put flip flop asm. There we are. It needs the D drive. And there we are. There's our file. Uh, another alteration uh, with CPM3 is that the line editing, sorry, the scrolling. Uh, now requires control Q to start it back up again so we'll just give a demonstration of that so control S stopped it and then control Q to continue and uh, we've also got a, a control K command so if I again type in something like that and then go back a few spaces and then press control K it's deleted to the end of the line. So it's very much, uh, con it's very conscious of the cursor position within the line now. So if I go back a few characters again, and this time I'm going to press Control R to retype the line, and you can see that it's retyped it from the cursor position, not the whole line. So that's another change because of this. Uh, ability to be, uh, be aware of where the cursor is on the line and then I can just press control U to get rid of that line and on we continue. The CPM3 line editing control characters are an extension of the existing CPM 2.2 control characters and are supported by the same BDOS uh, function calls. So, uh, so that makes it really convenient for the programmer and provides a nice standard interface for the user. I've done a previous video about the uh, the CPM 2.2 control characters or maybe the, uh, the base control characters uh, which is worth having a look at and uh, I hope you found this video useful. Do subscribe to the YouTube Tech Tinkering channel and have a look at the accompanying article in the notes below which uh, detail this further and provide a test program to demonstrate it properly.